Do you remember when I said I added a new car to the stable? Surprise! So, uh, what do we have here, Seamilk? Is this JDM enough for you? Absolutely, this is uh, very JDM. This is called a Honda Gyro, and both of you spent some time in Japan. We were kind of inspired by the fact that there were all kinds of really cool little grocery getters, sure. little scooters and stuff, because they have license classes there. Yeah. And the thing is, in America, you can get, like, this is boggles me still. Yeah. You can get your motorcycle license, right? Yeah. And you can just buy, like, a Hayabusa. I know. And like just kill yourself, right? I, that's something I, I really don't agree with. You don't seem to have a learner's uh, permit here in America. And you know, when you're learning to ride a motorcycle, it's dangerous. Sure. You have to be able to start with something small so you learn how to control a bike properly. For sure. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with this bike because you would definitely not buy this for a learner's no. bike. No, now, you wouldn't. How we ended up with this three-wheeled monstrosity in pieces is that we were actually looking around for something that maybe the wives could use like just to go down the street and buy stuff. Yeah. And Sorry. we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That was just in my way. So when I was looking around for this kind of stuff, I noticed that um, they had like these 50cc scooters, right? Mm. And we were calling all these people on Craigslist, you remember? I do. And this, the common thread was that yeah, these aren't legal, like we're supposed to have plates and stuff, but we don't. So all these people are trying to flog off all these scooters. You need some special plate for them or something. Apparently, yeah, 59cc... 49, yeah. F sorry, 49cc scooter, you can ride without a license. Yeah. But the bike itself needs to be licensed. It needs to have a plate. It's not right. the same as a normal car. Sure. But it still needs to get a plate. Right. But in the, in this yeah. search... Or bike, I should say. Yeah. For all these like 50cc scooters and stuff. Yeah. I found this Japanese dude mm -hmm. in from Japan that actually brings all these to LA. Yeah. And he brought like... He goes to these junkyards. This thing's been written off. Yeah. I mean, it's... You have no idea how strict the Japanese like MOT... Or right. whatever your roadworthiness thing is and if you've got even a slightly bald tire or if it's a certain amount of years old or anything it's like sorry you cannot drive it in Japan sure so he yeah. actually takes them and like salvages them and then mm. puts them on like a container ship yeah and brings them over to California so we saw these in, in Japan we remember like pizza delivery guys yeah. noodle delivery guys they use these because there's three wheels you can cart stuff around on them but mm. they're in that law where you don't have to actually have to have a proper license because they're only 50 cc's sure but they're two strokes, so they like belch out smoke. They can yep. be tuned up a little bit. Yeah, they can. And uh, yeah, we pulled them out of his van and we were like, you know what? Let's get two of these things. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, very good. Nice. That's great. <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Beepa. You know? <laughs> yeah, Beepa. Great. And the other one is nothing yet, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, I just... <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll see. Yeah. yeah, so... Which part of Japan? Um, maybe Kyushu. Kyushu? Yeah, okay. I am so a uh, vendor living in Fukuoka. Oh, okay. Yeah. And let's put them on worthless whips because honestly, despite all this legality thing, I feel like if a cop sees us driving these, they're gonna be like, um, maybe some sort of disability, you know. It basically looks like a Walmart wheelchair. You kind of have to have a mental disability to ride these on the road. Anyway. This is very true. I was thinking like we should do a, a big trip on one of these or on these once we get them fixed. Sure, that's the issue though. Why don't you explain what the hell's going on with the fixing aspect? Okay, first of all, what makes these unique is that they actually have a pod system at the back. So it's a two two wheels. The engine, everything is in this little pod, which is basically just connected to the main bike by like a, a pipe. Right. <laughs> For lack of a better word, a swivel arm. So you can actually lean with these things. That's, that's probably one of the coolest things about this is that it actually leans from side to side. Right. So you can take corners and all that. Um, the problems, we do have two of these and we're going to go, we're going to have to call in Dr. Milk to go through what's wrong with them sure. actually. But um, they are two strokes, so you need a two stroke oil. But it means there's a little bit of a complex system because you have a carburetor that um, needs two-stroke oil pumped into it. There's a special reservoir. Right. So it pumps two-stroke oil and automatically mixes it 
with the fuel at the right ratio so that the engine itself doesn't just for die. for the people out there that don't know think of a weed whacker they're mm. ding, 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 yeah, sound. Yeah. that's what this is yeah so there's no actual oil in the engine itself no. Because um, it gets all of its lubrication from the petrol oil mix. I mean, there is oil in the gearbox and stuff. But this thing's going to be a challenge because, of course, they were never produced here. So right. to get parts is going to be almost impossible. Oh, by the way, before we even continue, the name Gyro. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody... Well, I mean, it's gyroscope, right? <laughs> Obviously, there's like a gyro pod. See this <laughs> yeah. pod that moves back and forth? No, That's no, what no. you think. That's not what it stands for. What does it stand for? It actually stands for, and I kid you not, Great Your Recreation Original. <laughs> Gotta so, love Japan. Gotta love Japan. I mean, here you have a clever name. That is, it is a gyroscopic vehicle. Yeah, you yeah. could have just left it like that, you Japan. No, but you, you had to make an acronym out of it that makes no sense. You should see these things in Japan. Like when, when we visited Japan, it was awesome. They've got ones that have roofs on yeah. them. You know, they're made for all the pizza delivery and stuff. They, they got some pretty tricked out ones. Over yeah. There. But they're all basically the same thing now. The two that we got are slightly different. Mm -hmm. Your one Mine's is, an 01. Yeah, yours is an 01, mine's like a 94. Uh, 94. Mm. This one has got a slightly longer rear, so it's got probably the longer wheelbase. Right. Um, the en <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, <laughs> the engines are a little different, but yeah, basically... Three horsepower. Your, your one's about 10 years newer than mine. More yeah, or less, yeah it so. honestly looks 10 years older than yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, call in Dr. Milk so sure. we can see what's wrong with this With this, I'll thing. go get a hold of him. Yeah. Okay, so what we have wrong with this bike. Number one is we've got bits and pieces everywhere. Doc, look how I made all these spare parts with wicks. Right. These, yeah. dope, these dope parts. Basically, I need to reassemble the whole rear pod. One thing that definitely needs to be done because we did try to run this bike. We tried to start it. The battery on your one has a little bit of charge. The one on my one's completely dead and useless and you can't get these batteries here. So we're gonna have to try and make a plan with the batteries. They do have a kickstart, however, so that's a cool. good thing. The petcock on your one is okay. fine. <laughs> yes, this is, uh, this is your petcock. Yep. All right, now He's basically, yeah. Um, the one on mine is broken and leaks, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Okay. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Um, the carburetor is definitely clogged, so that needs to be done on both bikes. They need to be stripped, completely cleaned out, and sorted out. The carburetor sure. is a junk. Um, and of course, we have to test that the oil, the auto loop pump, is still working, so that we're not going to seize these engines. Um, Where are we gonna get tires for these things? These yeah. things are ancient. Yeah, the tires are, are completely unsafe on both of these things. They're trash. Okay. Your bike doesn't have an air filter. I mean, oh, the, the air box is open, but we there's no filter. Yeah, we can. We're gonna have to make one. Um, that's all I can think of really. Tires, carburetor, air filter, spark plug. Putting the those. entire bike together. Putting the entire Basically bike together. Basically, just doing everything. Yeah. So we've got a lot. We've got a lot of work to do on these bikes. Doctor Milk, what's your diagnosis? Next time on Worthless Whips, we really get stuck into pulling these things apart and fixing all the little issues with them, making sure that they're in tip-top shape for a big road trip. We still have not decided where we're going, and considering these things only go maybe 25 miles an hour max speed, I'm hoping it's not too far. But we'll find out. But what fun would that be? Come on, let's do something epic. Thanks to all the people on patreon.com slash worthlesswhips that vote on the cars that we do and support the channel. We really, really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next episode of Worthless Whips. <laughs>